Hello everyone, welcome to the class of solid states. Today I am going to explain you a little bit about uh, amorphous and crystalline solids. So without any delay, let's start our class. So liquids and gases are called as fluids because they have the ability to flow. And due to this fact, the molecules are free to move about. On the contrary, the particles in solid have fixed position and they can only oscillate about their mean position. This explains the rigidity in solids okay so this was just the basic introduction of solids now the general characteristics of solid state is here that is they have definite mass definite volume and shape the intermolecular distances are very short and the intermolecular forces are very strong the constituent particle can be atoms molecules or ions remember that any of these three could be the main constituent particle present inside a solid they have fixed position and can only oscillate about their mean position also so the solids are incompressible and are rigid now any solid can be categorized under amorphous or crystalline solid what is the meaning of it crystalline solid usually con consists of a large number of small crystals each of them having a definite characteristic geometrical shape okay so crystalline solids are actually long range order uh, which means that there is regular pattern of arrangement of particles which repeat itself periodically over the entire crystal just to show you a diagram so here is a diagram of crystalline solid so you can see it is having a pattern which is this ring here and this ring is repeated everywhere in all the three four directions three directions not four so this is actually long range order so this quartz is an example of crystalline solid whereas amorphous solid that means there is no form consists of particles of irregular shape so it is quite irregular the arrangement of constituent particle that is atoms molecules or ion in such solid has only short range order the meaning of short range order as you can see this quartz glass is an example of an amorphous solid short range order meaning you can see this is a big ion and this is a small ion so big small big small big small but the arrangement is there but overall the arrangement is not as good as crystalline so here you can see the arrangement is quite up and down next so they are only short range order in such an arrangement a reg, uh, an irregular pattern or periodically repeating pattern is there but over only short distances only glass rubber plastic are typical example of amorphous solids on heating they become crystalline at same temp some temperature so if you heat them they become crystalline at certain temperature so already explained these uh, diagrams so this is just the two dimensional structure of quartz and quartz glass so this is your crystalline whereas quartz glass is your amorphous solid so like solids amorphous solid have tendency to flow they uh, though very slow so therefore they are also referred as pseudo solid or super cool liquids basically if you know the glasses they become thicker at the bottom and thinner at the top this is because of the ability to flow it slows but it slows very very slowly so it takes years to show this effect so this explanation is also given here so they are thicker at the bottom and thinner at the top this is because glass flows down very slowly and makes bottom portion uh, slightly thicker now uh, let's look at the property so crystalline solid are anisotropic in nature anisotropic means that different arrangement of particle is there in different directions so if you see that this line a b is crossing only these blue circles oops sorry whereas this line c d is actually crossing another circle so uh, another type of circle that is uh, cation anion cation anion or you can say positive charge negative charge positive charge negative charge or different a b a b a b type of atoms whereas this line ab is crossing only one so if you see this line ab and this line cd is having different cross section so it is crossing different different atoms that's the reason why we will get different property along line ab and another property along line cd 
so physical properties that is the electrical resistance or react refractive index show different values when measured along different direction in the same crystal so this is the main reason because you encounter different types of atom or ions so anisotropy arises from different arrangement of particle in different direction since the arrangement of the particle is different along different direction the value of the some uh, same physical property is found to be different along each direction whereas amorphous solid on the other hand are isotropic in nature isotropic means same property that means their property do not change so since there is no long range order in them the arrangement is irregular along all direction that's why you get same property same value of the property so value of any physical property would be the same along any direction so this is one of the main difference between uh, amorphous solid and crystalline solid now let's look at the main difference so first main difference in terms of property is the shape so definite characteristic geometrical shape this is crystalline solid whereas amorphous solid they have irregular shape melting point melt melts at sharp and characteristic temperature because it is quite uniform but amorphous solid since their uh, let's say they don't have any long range order so they gradually soften over long range of temperature cleavage property that is breaking of bond property when cut with a sharp edge tool they split into two pieces and newly generated surface are plain and smooth whereas since amorphous is not having a good uh, long range order when you cut with a sharp edge tool they cut into pieces with irregular surfaces heat of fusion they have a definite and characteristic heat of fusion amorphous obviously they do not have a, a definite heat of fusion anisotropy already explained crystalline solids are anisotropic in nature whereas amorphous solids are isotropic in nature also these are true solid and these are pseudo solids or super cool liquids order in arrangement of the constituent particle long range order only short range order so thank you all for uh, listening to me see you in the next class